Hello guys and welcome to tutorial part 6 of our R2-D2 Blender tutorial series. Um, for those of you who haven't been following along, you can download the project model um, as it is um, from the previous tutorial, so you can follow along with this. Or if you've got your own model that you're working on, then feel free to do so. Um, the link to download the model is also underneath this video, um, and that will be as the model is at the end of this tutorial. So what I'm going to focus on in this tutorial is how to use the knife projection tool. So the knife projection tool will allow us to create some um, holes on our curved surface um, more easily than having to try and cut them out manually using the knife tool. As our R2-D2 surface is curved, to make a circular hole on the curved surface will be quite tricky because there's going to be deformation of the circle as it is applied to that curve. But there's a tool in Blender which will do it for us. So what we're going to do, check our reference image, is make this hole here, and then this hexagonal hole in the side, and we also need to do these two holes up here. But we're going to start off with the easiest, which is this circular hole at the front. So first of all, we're going to go into our front view. You want to try and be viewing as square on to the panel that we want to cut as possible because the knife projection works based off of the, um, the view orientation that you have. Um, I'll demonstrate what I mean in a, in a moment. So first of all, um, in object mode in the tools, uh, sorry, in create, we're going to make a circle. So we'll make this circle and then drag it out and then we want to center it up as best as we can down here in the middle of our blue box that we're going to make in the hole in. Now we're going to rotate it x-axis 90 degrees and then we're going to scale it down so it fits inside of our hole. Let's go back to our front view here. We'll zoom in. Okay, so we'll just align everything up with the middle of our hole there. Okay, so I think that's probably about right. And now with that selected, we're going to hold down shift, select our main body, go into edit mode, tools, and knife project. And now, if we spin the model, you'll see we have a nice circular hole on our curved surface. Now I'll show you what I mean about uh, the angle that you're viewing at. If we were to be viewing this at, at, at an oblique angle and then we were to use knife project, you'll see that now we get it in the wrong place. So you really have to make sure that you are viewing as square on as possible to the um, object that you're going to be projecting onto. So in order to do that, for this one it's quite easy because we just have to go to the front view, knife project, and it's done. Okay? Now once we have that projected onto there, I'm going to um, want to create this slightly, if we go to the closer up, we have a slightly raised detail there and recess before that goes in. So we want to add in those small details. So I'm going to hit E to extrude and then S to scale. So we can scale it down a little bit. And then I'm going to go, actually, easy way of doing this. We'll go back, uh, back to our front view, knife project. Okay, so first of all, we'll extrude outwards a little bit. And then E to extrude, enter, S to scale, scale in, E to extrude will come in. Now we're going to have a small step there. So it's E, enter, S. Put a small step on the inside and then E to extrude again. I think our step should have been a little bit bigger. Not much, just a tad. E to extrude again. 
and we'll go now inside about the depth that we need probably say that far let's check back with our reference image maybe a little bit more okay and now we're done with that what we want to do next is add the color to this so um, to do that face select shift and alt click this edge this edge this edge and this edge and then we want to select the inside faces Go under our material, we'll choose our silvery material, go to assign. Now I want to put a slightly beveled edge on this. Oh, we also want to do it on the outside edge, yeah, the color. So we'll select this. Also, silvery color, assign. Okay, now I've done that, edge select. Oops, shift and alt. And we're going to go around and select that edge. And I'm also going to bevel this inner edge a little bit. And this one as well. So we'll select those three edges. Control B to bevel. 0 0.003 will be our bevel size. Maybe even smaller. 0 0.002, 0 0.001. 5. Okay. So a very small bevel make it two segments happy with that and I'll come back over into object mode we can remove this circular object we don't need that anymore so X and delete and there we have it our recessed hole has been made with a nice little detail to it now just in case we want to make things tidier. We may have some problems later on, so just in case, we're going to select these edges. So we'll get, oops, we'll get this edge, and this edge, this edge, and also this edge here. for this one and this one this one and this one also that inside edge around here Finally, I'll go for that edge as well. Okay, once we've selected all that, mesh, edges, mark sharp. So, there we've done our circular hole in the front of our R2D2 body. Now, the next one we want to do is a little bit more tricky. It's going to be the hexagonal hole, which is on the right side of the body here. So, because it's not square on at the front, we have to make sure we align our view properly. We also need to create this hexagonal shape. Now, um, in object mode here, um, what we want to do first of all is kind of spin around and get as square on as we can to the face that we're going to be projecting from. So let's go to view and view global local. Should help a bit. Okay, and um, 
next back out into object mode create <coughs> a circle I'm gonna go to, um, and the circle needs to have eight vertices because we're making a um, hexagonal shape go to the top view and drag this out and down okay now we're going to want to rotate it let's go to the uh, view so we'll rotate x-axis 90 degrees rotate it on the z until it's pretty much square up with our view and then I'm going to want to rotate it again on the X get the flat side at the top and drag it into position scale it and put it about where we want the hexagonal hole to be so it's going to be around this area and I want to kind of line up our view there with everything I may just want to adjust the rotation a little bit. So everything is square on. almost right go a line view to the active view selected um, Align view to the active front. Nope. Bottom. Okay. Is that about right? A matter of getting this aligned up correctly with our side part. This one can be a little bit tricky. Okay, now we'll rotate it again. I think we're about squared up now. Okay, now same thing, we select both objects. Come over into object mode, select both. Edit mode. I'm just gonna move that down a little bit because I don't wanna have a cut there be nice if it could be in between these two so let's come back over here into object mode I'm going to move this down slightly select both edit mode it needs to come down a little bit more and 
tad more okay and then in tools we're going to do the same again which will be our knife project and we're going to extrude this inwards but simply just E to extrude and we're going to extrude inwards about the distance that we need it's not too deep it's probably about enough Okay, now we're done with that. We can color the edges again like we did last time. So this is inside part is going to be blue. So face select. We'll select all those faces. Get our blue material. Assign. And finally then we want to just bevel these edges. Same like we did last time. So select these edges. So those edges are selected, control B to bevel, 0 .0, sorry, 0 0.003, enter two segments. All good, back out into object mode, grab that object, we can delete it now, we don't need it. Now we have our hexagonal hole done. So you can see how the knife project tool can become quite useful when we're making holes into a um, curved surface or any kind of uneven surface that you want to project a hole onto and Blender will automatically make whatever adjustments it needs to to compensate for the um, deformation caused when you, when you project that onto the surface. So you can still get your nice round circular hole or this hexagonal hole even though we're placing it onto a curved surface. To cut this out manually using the knife tool would obviously be very cumbersome and you're never going to get it completely exactly right. So I'm going to leave you now to um, do the uh, two holes in the middle here using exactly the same method. I'm just going to go over into time-lapse mode while I do it so you can see what I'm doing. But uh, you should now be familiar with the knife project tool and how to actually do this yourself. So thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like the video and you can download the finished uh, model at the end of this tutorial um, from the link below.